Hello there everyone and welcome back to the Calm Before the Storm mod for Hearts of Iron 4. I'm Senor of Mocha Lover and right now we are opening new mines in which to support our industry we need raw goods and there are plenty of them untapped in Asturias and Malaga. We have to get them. So I asked you all yesterday whether we should form the centrist government or we should form with C, D, E, A. And overall there's a lot of support for both sides. There's a lot of support. But overall there's more support for C, E, D, A. Now some people don't want me to do this route. I apologize. However, I don't know. Let's say if this video gets like 100 likes, I will do the centrist government as well eventually. I'll give you my promise on that. So if the video gets 100 likes, I'll do the centrist government sometime within uh, maybe a month within this, the time of this recording. So for now, we're going to choose a CEDA. We'll see what happens. I don't know. I really have no idea. Um, so yeah, I've heard, at least in Calm Before the Storm mod, that this uh, Spain has like a ton of different routes. So uh, we got a lot of columns to go through as well, but like, I get that not everyone's going to be happy with my choice, but I guess we're going to continue with new minds, I suppose. New cabinet, never. How will we govern? Gilles Robles will be the new head of government, but his intentions are unknown. Some figures of his party, such as Luis Lucia or Manuel Gimenez, want to form a new center-right government with the liberals and reform the republic towards a Christian democracy. However, the radical wing of the CEDA wants to destroy the republic and create a new corporatist regime. What will Gilles Robles do? Also, I think this is on his a struggle as well, but still. Center-right government... A right wing government. Um Spanish Republic. Spanish Republic. I have no idea, man. I'm sure this is this one is probably the one that people want some people want me to do. Some people want, probably want me to do that one, but I don't know. If we're gonna go with this one, we could probably just go as far and extreme as possible, right? Um Ah, whatever, we'll choose that one, why not? I'll be honest, I we'll see what happens. Oh we got a lot of ooh, we got rid of a lot of things. Ruling coalition seats three oh four. Radicals in control. How could people think we would preserve the Republic? We should have destroyed God's democracy. Oh. Well. Okay. Uh, the Cabinet. Gilles Robles is the new head of government. Now it's time to invest uh, to decide whether they're going to reform the Republic or destroy it from within. Oh. Moderate primacy? Well, I guess we're going to go radical. Violence in the streets. The rival of Gilles Robles to the power was regarded by the left as an attempt to install fascism. And resistance is growing in the streets day by day. Political killings are rising and even some policemen are social sympathizers. Mobilize the Guardia Civil. Suspend the Constitution. This is definitely ahistorical now. Like, my bad. Like, not really my bad, but I know some of you guys would be are somewhat disappointed with my choice here. But, like I said earlier, no matter what I choose, people are still going to be disappointed in me no matter what. Um, aircraft engines? You might as well, right? Yeah, so 35, we might as well grab that. Anything else? Italy declare, ooh. Actually, we could maybe grab some experience here, good. Ooh, that's a kind of a nice color for Ethiopia. Usually purple. Oh, we can't some volunteers. <sighs> do you even need focus? Oh, yes, I do. Did I say that one last time? We should play the Ethiopia sometime. Second, Italy Ethiopian War. Uh, we have no political power, so we're just gonna kinda hang out for now. Open the new mines, and then review the military eventually. Which we saw last time was not super important, so... But yeah, like, if you want me to play out different routes for Spain, let me know in the comments below. Formation of leftist militias. The disorganized leftist revolters are disappearing in favor of more organized groups with clear objectives and leadership. The communist MAOC is the most prominent group, but the CNT and PSOE are organizing their own groups as well. Several militias have assaulted banks, churches, and police stations throughout the country, and no one can stop them. Declare the state of emergency. Oh, Catholic schools. Republicans say... They care about education, yet they close schools just because they are Catholic. We shall guarantee that every child gets an education, and if their school is Catholic, then so be it. Liberals propose further centralization. The centrist groups have proposed a partial reversal of the decentralization policies that started the Republic back in 31. While allowing the opposition to pass their own initiatives would be bad for our reputation and political power, maybe we should consider supporting their initiative. We have to prevent it. If it's good for the country, we must support it. Liberals propose highway liberalization. The centrists have proposed yet another way. Uh, some budgetary modifications allowing for the liberalization of the railways in eastern Spain. While allowing the opposition to pass their own initiatives would be bad for reputation, maybe we should consider supporting the initiatives. Oh, we'll do that one too. What is this one? Always false. We have lost the vote. Support for the current law proposition. So someone says we need 235, so... Um, so a lot of the comments were just like, there are 470 seats in total, we do need 235, so really we need 11 right now. Someone says we should uh, try to get the seats to be green or something like that. And we just need to seek the support of the bigger parties, pretty much. And someone says, it's pretty terrible to wait six years to change ideologies. Yeah, sometimes, yeah. Someone says I should go co monarchist. And someone else wants me to play as a CNT, so we'll see. Gather coalition support. Don't support the latest opposition. Align the conservatives. Align the moderate Republicans. 
Well, or moderate, yeah, moderate Republicans, moderate conservatives. Moderate Republican seats are 10. That's not very much. Align the conservatives. So what does that do? Nothing for us. Huh. We need political power, right? Yeah, the coalition support. Just spend it all. Militia sees armed depots. The number of political killings is rising by the day. But yesterday, the violence reached new heights. A military factory was assaulted. The men killed in the ammo and weapons seized by a mixture of CNT and PSOE militias. Military men are outraged, and several prominent leftists are being randomly arrested and even executed by military units. Who needed stability? So, we, we lost the vote. Nice. I don't know why I did that. Maybe that was dumb of me. Yeah, you know what, at this point, I'm just trying to learn this mod. Like, I don't know this mod that well. My apologies, guys. I'm trying to learn, learn as best I can. And you guys are helping me out, but, like... I really need to spend more time with this mod. We're losing political power, but it'll all be better once we have a civil war, right? It'll all be better. Restore church subsidies. You can, oh, that's a lot better. So it's just a revolution. It's finally happened. A general strike was recently called by the UGT and the CNT alike. And the workers have seized the streets uh, of many cities in the south and east in Andalusia. The FNTT has led the uprising of the rural workers as seized Sevilla and the rest of Andalusia, while socialist militias have arrested the civil governor in Murcia and Valencia. In Barcelona, CNT militias have burned the government delegation and assumed authority in the name of the workers. While in Zaragoza, the urban fight between General Cabanillas and the anarchist leader Daruti has ended when the CNT forces seized a down town hall and forced a loyalist retreat. In Madrid, though, a group of MAOC militias have been crushed by the army, so the country split in two seems ready for a civil war. That'd be cool to play the socialist, but... Get some technologies. Oh, boy. Well, are we still losing political power? Oh, yes, we are. That's... Bro, that sucks. Wait, what happened? Wait, hold on. Oh, maybe I need to choose... Um... First Workers' Congress. Ooh. What happened to here? What happened to the National Coal? Well, everything we did, well, I guess, was for naught then. Okay. Well, whatever. Um, we're still a Spanish Republic, I guess. Create more employment? It is not fighting. No man will be unemployed in the new Spain. We need workers and builders, engineers and teachers. Let the construction begin. Or La Amenza. Socialista. The socialists are threatening our culture and values, but we are stronger. We should fight them until Spain is clear from the red scum or die. Uh, okay, war economy would be bad. General mobilization? Let's do a war economy. It's time to declare the state of war. Civil liberties shall be restricted and the economy shall be fully mobilized. Um, political disunity? Spanish Civil War? Yeah, that explosive is what it is, but... Bro. We don't have that many divisions, man. Hopefully we spawn some more, maybe? We still have a good amount of ships, though. That's pretty nice. I'm not sure if we really need these guys too much, but I'll, I'll let you guys do this. There you go. You can do that. That'd be great. Uh, do we have an air force at all? Yeah, we got a few planes here. Here and there. There you go. Do that. Thank you. Come again. And you, senor. Which makes sense since we're playing Spain. Ah, Francisco Franco. Well, the gentleman. The, the supreme, the supreme gentleman. Which, out of context, could sound really bad. But whatever. Vincent. Nothing. Okay. Um... We just need bodies on the field. Like, Commander, Resistance Infantry. I'd love to get some of these guys going. But I don't mind actually getting some of these guys instead for now. Just because we need dudes. Hopefully mobilize some more guys. Formation of... There we go. Nationalist militias. The revolution has split our country apart. But at least the divides in our zone have ended. As fascists, monarchists, conservatives, liberals, and even social democrats all fear socialist victory. As many citizens have formed militias of national inspiration to help our brave soldiers crush the Red Hydra. Aplasteramos el socialismo. Hey, good motivation is nice. Hey, we got it done. Look at that. But we gotta fight that stuff, so. Nice. 25 divisions, not bad. Even though these guys are all Jesus Christ, six combo with. Oh, that's so sad. Four combo with? Uh, that could be a lot worse. Oh my goodness, that's so bad. Eight combo with, and you are what? Oh, 24 combo with is not too bad, actually. Uh, com combine there. Do that. You know what? Split. There you go. Who's going to defense? There you go, Jose. Let's go. Let's go. We'll see what happens. We'll definitely see what happens here. Um, do we have any... F no, no, we don't. Huh. Go in if you can. Go in. Spanish Revolution. And they... Oh, they declared war on us, huh? Are we in offensive war? Yeah, we are. Nice. If he can go in immediately and just do well, I would love that so much. But there's no guarantee, of course. Now, we do have to remember, we will have to be fighting other nations as well, probably. 
Um, so we'll see what happens. So to see. Oh, no, I guess out the attacks. All right, so overall, like, over here, I want you all to hold. Just hold. Don't worry about it. Over there, hold. You guys will hold. Hold. Just hold for now. You hold as well. <clears throat> if you could go right there, that'd be stupendous. You guys are kind of winning over here, too-ish. Nice. General mobilization. It's time to fully mobilize their army. Call the reserves and organize the men. We'll have to fight a fight. It's fighting time, boys and girls. Thank you for sacrificing two more divisions. It's not going to win us a war, but hey, it'll be the start of something here. I'm um, just going to hold. That's, that's the most important thing. Just hold. The National Coalition. President Gil Robles has today announced a new cabinet. It's an alliance of CEDAists, conservatives, Carlos, Monacus, and even Phalangists to unite against the Reds. In a passionate speech, Gil Robles has defended this National Coalition that will surely enact sweeping reforms that could even end the Republic. The President, upon hearing this news, has resigned in protest with Gil Robles assuming the presidency for now. <clears throat> Oh no, what has happened? Jose, you look like you could be better painted. But anyways. Hey, let's get political power now, do we? Yay! We have some political power. I swear to God, you're not allowed to lose. Literally not allowed to lose. Hopefully we do well here, but what is the air superiority like? Make sure we're really getting a lot of stuff here. A lot, a lot of stuff. A lot of air superiority. You're literally not allowed to... Oh. Oh, hello, Catalonia. That'll help us out a little bit more. Um, I want you to hold as well. I need you to force defense. Catalonia declares independence. Seeing that they were unable to control Catalonia, Largo Calabara has decided to cut a deal with Luis Companies. He would be loyal to the new red government. While well, Companies would use his militia to help the CNT and control all Catalonia. However, Companies has taken the chance and declared the Catalan state, kicking out the reds from Catalonia. Communist incompetence threatens to break Spain apart, so shall we allow that? Onward to them as well. Which is fine with us. Oh, they do have some strong infantry there, so... You guys gotta kill them off first. So, contact Britain. Britain is watching us and anxious about the fall of our country to communism. We should uh, establish some initial contacts with them. Spain is nothing but pain, man. <clears throat> My gosh, we need guns. Oh, good job, guys. Good job. Uh, anything over here? Um, go if... Ooh... That's all, oh, about 10 entrenchment. Holy crudarinos. What's this? Oh, increase centralization. Uh, whatever. I don't really care right now. We, need, we definitely need more guns. Um, that's the case. Cut these down by two. Does that, help? that does help all the guns a little bit. So. Can we actually win there, maybe? We might be able to. That these guys. Are they fighting these guys as well? Yes, that's good. That's actually very good for us. Tank warfare. Cool. Oh, god dang it, Discord. Please stop popping off. Um, since it's my first campaign and this one, I'm just gonna go with something easy with superior firepower. Might be the wrong one to do for us, but like it's pretty tried and true, so I want to do that one, so. They are attacking us, which I don't mind, but still. Nothing's really in the water for now. So you guys go and stop, because we do have planes in the air, so go ahead and stop doing that for now. If we lose here, you know it is what it is, but still. Prepare yourselves. Just prepare yourselves, that's all. Death of Georgia 5th, that sucks, bro. Sorry to hear about that. Let these guys kill each other off some more. Um, this we get some more political power, which is nice. Come on, can you please win? Please win? Just just win, please. Please clap. We lost a vote, that's a shame. Bad news, our initiative has just been debated in Parliament. It has been defeated after contested debate. Failure? Whatever. At this point, I don't care about the whole Congress thing at this point. It just, it's not a lot of fun. National coalition, it's no time for divisions. All those who oppose communism shall form a coalition led by Joe Robles to save the country. Contact Britain. Nice. British aid. Liberals hold on. The military steps in. Oh boy. Arrest right, the leftists. Dissolve the Cortez. Ooh, military factors. Get more divisions would be nice. American aid. Um. I want more output. Arrest leftists. All leftists that remain in territory shall be arrested immediately. Of course, anything left of the PRR will be considered leftists. Oh boy. Oh boy. Nothing bad is going to happen because of that. My apologies about that, everybody, but the Discord pings kept kind of annoying me, so I'm like, eh, let's go and just hopefully mute it. Hopefully. Hopefully mute it. But this, it's fine this guy's struggling over here. Never mind. That sucked. Get back in there. God dang it. I just want to encircle them, man. I just wanted to encircle them. That's all I wanted. Hama Hami is gone. Goodbye, Hami, Hami, Hami. They stopped attacking us, which is good with us, but still. I would like to make some encirclements here, though, if we possibly, possibly can. 
Aircraft engine dose, which they might say in Spain, maybe. Um, happy 36, though, everybody. Happy 36. Concentrated output. Ooh, max factories in a state. Yeah, I'll go dispersed. I like dispersed. Not bad. And go on into see what you can do. Oh, very nice. Go that way. I want you to go there too. Go right there. That won't be too bad, hopefully. Of course, we should probably use our horses to do this. But I think you know what they get over there. I don't really care too much. I'll be honest. The show our restoration with this. Oh, Japan's next move be. Oh, would you look at that encirclement? Oh, I love encirclements, man. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Now we need this area, so we can do really well. Let the infantry lead with you two going and the horses as well. So we push them back over there. That would be smart and good to do. And since we have two divisions here, we're going to take you to go by the Jaws. Hey, you beat him up. Brussels left us. And militarize the factories. We don't know workers' rights when the re while the Reds are attacking us. The military should impose efficiency in the factories, and the workers will accept or die. <sighs> Los Rojos a la Paradon. All the Reds shall be processed for high treason and properly taken care of. It is hard, but a necessary goal. Communists announced a popular front. Our Communist Party has announced today they've decided entirely without Moscow's help to align themselves with the moderate socialist and radicalist pa parties in the fight against the far right. Interesting. I, I'll be honest, I don't really care. Huh. I don't really care. They can do whatever they need to. It is their, you know, time to shine. Just like ours. All I want is more army XP. And more air XP, too. Don't get me wrong. We like that air XP. If we take this, then they're completely out of supplies over there, so... And, oh, they're oh, they're really taking out Barcelona first. They're doing some encirclements themselves. Not bad for them. Okay, then. Go in. Everyone go in. Go in, go in, go in, go in, go in, go in, go go, 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 I need you to hurry up and take everything they got. Take Sevilla. Over here, I don't care. Just go, go, go all the way to the time. This pocket's got to die. Germany militarizes. Have fun with that, Germany. Take one guy and go down there. Nice. Now they're going to definitely starve and die down here. Good. 84, move, 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 move. I know we're suffering a lot of cow sheets. Taking the capital, which is nice, actually. I'll go in there. Modern construction methods. Get some more. 10% is pretty darn nice. Not gonna lie. Head down here. Go, 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 go. It's only one division to encircle, but I'd rather kill off that one division than nothing else. Having Catalonia rise up was a great idea. We should do it again sometime. Oh, Gibraltar's right there, too. Nice. Go down there and cut them off. Ah, yes. Yeah, I think they're done. I mean, they're not done quite yet, but that's severely weakened them. We lost quite a few guys. 36,000 is pretty bad. We killed off 90,000 other Spaniards, which is pretty bad, too. But whatever. Um, British aid? We have made some contact with Britain, but it is time to send an official help petition against the commies. Ah, are they doing force? They gotta be doing force defense, man. Now, nah, maybe, maybe they were earlier, but now they're not. It's, it's fine, whatever. Anyone else have upgrades yet? Democratic Alliance with election, wins election in France. Alright. One division shall die. Go, 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 go. Come on, how are you taking so long with this? Of course, these divisions must be pretty thick, like the ones we have too, so. And then go there. Let them leave. Okay. I'm not sure why they just want to keep killing off their own divisions. I don't understand why. We lost 53, but killed 119,000. I mean, that's very costly for us to do, but at the same time, it works. So, yeah. We're out of guns a lot, but whatever. We've got some Marty, though. We do have some Marty. Yeah, let's save what we got for now. Bro, just go right here. Just go right there. I know this is costly. And for Francisco Franco is better on the defense, but still. Nice. Let's get some aid from Britain. Hold up, American aid. America is more isolationist and thus less likely to provide help than the British, but hey, we should try anyways. Even though we're weakening ourselves, they're weakening themselves quite a bit as well, it looks like. Obviously, those divisions aren't very good, but you, do, you don't need to talk about that. Go all the way, son. We want. It. Well, they're almost literally dead anyway, so. Superior firepower. Followed it with delay doctrine. Nice. I'm going to go to Valencia. That's fine, too. Oh, hello. What are you trying to get out of here? If you can get in here, that'd be great. Disperse industry. Nice. Ah, uh, the other one's going to take a while. Go with that one. But bomb vulnerable factory stuff at Marinos. Cool. All right. Keep these guys in place. Can we just go over here? Take Barcelona. If you just take Barcelona, go ahead. If we get encircled, you know, whatever. 
And Barcelona's ours. Nice. So where's the capital now? Oh, Valencia. Oh, they took back Valencia. Or they? Well, we never took it or something. I don't know. Cool. British aid. American aid is next. Please, Bryn. We can dissolve the Cortez. What happens if we don't dissolve the Cortez before the war is over? We provide support. Good news. The UK has agreed to call for our support, and they are off will offer us weapons and equipment at low prices. We're close to winning the war. The world stands beside us. Well, maybe. And again, you're going to need some, uh, huh, PP to do all this stuff, but whatever. Oh, yeah, they're, they're completely done at this point. Um, we've lost a lot of guys. 100,000 basically from us, 150,000 from them. It's not a 2 to 1 casualty ratio, but as much as I'd like it to be, it's, it's good. Actually, it's more than that right now, which is really nice. All right, boys, you've done a great job. You've learned quite a bit. Alfonso Carlos de Barbon dies. Alfonso Carlos de Barbon, the Carlos pretender of the Spanish throne, has died today at the age of 87 in Austria. When a military truck rolled over him, his death officially marks the end of the Carlos line that split from the main legitimate line in 1833, according to the Carlos succession rules. The new pretender would be, ironically, Alfonso XIII, unifying both lines into the legitimate one. Many Carlos have refused to accept this and have appointed Alfonso Carlos' nephew, Javier de Bourbon, as new regent, breaking their own very succession law in any case. Chaos is assured within the Carlos movement. At least they fight each other now, not us. So, really, two to, two to one casualty ratio is not too bad. Hey, we won. All they had left were just like planes. Wow. The well, government is victorious. It's time to celebrate. With the surrender of the last remnants of the Spanish Socialist Republic, our forces now control the entirety of Spain. The counts have been defeated once and for all, and it is time for us to look to the future. La Revolución has. Aha, uh -huh. frascads, though. Post work. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, I did that. We did that way too fast. Keep that PP for now. Okay, so the, yeah. Oh, why does this keep changing? The Republic has stood. Like, I get it that it's. <sighs> and our darkest hour, we never gave up democracy. The Republic has survived against all odds. And now I have to make sure this war never happens again. Um, uh, democracy is non negotiable. National Reconciliation. Hopefully this changes as well. Kill the traitors. Well, I mean, I guess technically we're going with a kind of a crazy radical route, so... Militarist... De militant Democracy. Prisoner... Li Prisoner Liberation. War Hmm... Never again. Post-war recovery? Yeah, let's do that one. We fought a long, hard war. It's now time to rebuild Spain and uplift its citizens out of poverty. So, yeah, a new cabinet. I have restored the Constitution, and Jill Robles has appointed a new cabinet, far more moderate than in the National Coalition. Without monarchists or fascists. He's also offered the presidency back to the previous president, as he aims to restore political stability. Now we form a center-right government. Bro. What is going on here? Oh, man, I don't know. I just don't know. No, what the heck? No garrison? What the heck do you mean, no garrison? Are you insane, son? Son, are you nuts? Are you nutso? Flesh Force is kind of cool. Yes, that's pretty... Oh, God, that's so bad. But the National Spirit... Oh, my gosh, that's so bad, too. Minus 0.75 political power. Mass purges in the USSR. I gotta play as the USSR sometime, too. Um, rationing? It's not bad, either. Rebuild administration. Rail networks? I like that, too. That's pretty good. Spain is rebuilt. Jesus Christ, this is just... I don't know. Democracy is not negotiable. We show mercy with the rebels. They will undoubtedly try again. The only way to save democracy is to be harsh on those who threaten it. That's a national reconciliation with this one. We can't pretend that those who rebelled against us have despaired, disappeared. They're still there. And then we have to reconcile with them when we want to unite the country. Oh. We get more social democracy or democratic socialism. Oh. Prisoner liberation. Apo apologize for our crimes? I, I don't want to apologize for anything. Democratic socialism. Kill the traitors. Uh, ensure our victory. Ban extremism. Oh my goodness. <sighs> democracy is non negotiable. If we show mercy with the rebels, they'll undoubtedly try again. The only way to save democracy is to be harsh on those who threaten it. You know what? I guess we'll go this route. Militant democracy. I guess. I don't know, man. I feel like I've been gypped. But oh well. Uh, kind of just surround Portugal. Just tell them that we love them. And uh, we want them, the, we wish them the best. 
And we're totally not going to get rid of them someday. Jesus Christ. Eight combat. What, is that really what we have? FDR re-elected in USA? Is anyone surprised? Uh, not really. Hello, Mr. Wheelchair Man. What you think? I said last time, too. Slums. Nice. Uh, Chippies? Follow it up with... Uh, kill the traitors? I... Uh, I, let's ensure a victory first. I want more political power. We can't relax one second. The enemies of democracy are still there. And we have to continue fighting them to ensure they never rise again. So much political power we're losing now. 0.37 is definitely better than what we were at. We don't even have Congress anymore. Which is fine with us, I guess. Whatever. Um, oh, do we get rid of the militias? We might have, actually. Yeah. Uh, he abdicates. Good for you, dude. There you go. And now we're completely out of equipment. Basically, machine tools will be very nice as well. Conversion bonus. Uh, go and grab that one too. That's fine. We could use another research slot. We were trying to get another research slot and we weren't allowed to get one. God dang it. Restore Parliament. Do we want to restore Parliament, man? Probably better to do this than this. Yeah. Uh, but we want La Quinta Columna. What is La Quinta? Is that the hotel chain? The 37th presidential election. Alaka Zamora's term is over and the new president has to be elected. There are three main candidates, a conservative Republican Miguel Maura, backed by incumbent Alcala Zamora and most of the ripe, and well-known Republican Manuel Andania, who has supported, supported the left, and the conciliatory candidate Diego Martinez Barrio, who enjoys the support of confusing coalitions such as parties who shall win. I guess we'll go with this conservative one. Social democracy, social liberalism. I guess we'll go with that one for now. The proposed persons who belong to anti-democratic organizations, those who fought against us, shall be monitored quite closely. We have to ensure that they, of course, stay quite quiet. 70 day focuses, man. That's a bit too much for me, man. Uh, it is rebuilding, though. Yeah, I don't know how much content there's, there's left for Spain. I hope there's a lot, but, like, still. Make sure we're all training here, sons. Um, oh, another ship's nice. Hey, a heavy cruiser. I mean, obviously, I prefer something other better than a heavy cruiser, but whatever. Do we have any, like, bigger ships? Uh... It's not worth it, not worth it. Yeah, it's not worth it. Okay. They're all level one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that sucks. Do we at least have some good stuff? Eh, it seems okay. It's not great. It's just, it's so slow. We're gonna have level two stuff. It's not even worth trying to having a navy here then. It doesn't even speed up, up by that much either. Oh my goodness. Some more cavalry attack. That was a really fast civil war we had too. It helps if the leftists just kill each other off as well, but still. And of that one, um, civil wars remain scatters. Get more political power, more stability. Rationing would not be bad. I want to get more consumer goods and post-war economy as well, but seventy to focuses just take so long. I guess we can do kill the traitors. So you want to do that and then this, or this one, that one. Yeah, let's do kill the traitors first. Those rebel traitors, those politicians that called for the end of democracy, shall be processed and executed. That includes criminals that use the war as an excuse for their atrocities. Yeah, I guess so. As we're watching kind of Germany rearm. Oh, hey, hey Hitler, how you doing? Play as him once. I need to play him as him again, but I need to go with the route that lets you go with uh, the technocrats, not the autarchists. Oh, hello. Him and Goring, but the technocrats. Yeah. Sounds like fun. The war's begun. That was a fun campaign, that one was. Anschluss. Good stuff. Northern directions, Eastern European directions. A whole lot of fun stuff in Germany's focus tree. What is the French like? Like, this is to Romania. Is that the London Conference? That's from the Great War. I love. You know what? One thing I do love in Hoi 4 in general is all, like, especially for like really developed well developed mods is uh the art for all the focus uh, focuses like I, I like seeing them like sometimes these are kind of like generic you see them a whole bunch but like you know the people's kind of cool um eh, spain's ones are okay like what we saw in germany's it looks really awesome but ban extremism might as well we could use more stability all extremist organizations and unions shall be banned and prosecuted we can't give our enemies a place to meet of course not miguel maura I swear, I don't even remember electing you, but you know what? My mind must be going. Yugoslavia do be looking kind of nice and blue. 
Prince Paul, Italy, uh, Bulgaria, Romania, Hungary, Czechoslovak. Uh, you're looking kind of down there, Kevin Spacey. Gosh, any boys lately? Anyways, um, Carlos. I did, I have, I need to play as the Soviet Union. They look like a lot of fun. The Red Army. Continue collectivization. Officially hot collectivization. Nah. Continue the communist offensive. The great retreat from communism. Nice. Oh, there's even more stuff on the left. The second five-year plan. What is this one? Oh, that's kind of cool. Hami, Maklik, my god, China. China. I'm going to try to unify everybody. I need to play as China in this campaign. Or this video. Or not this video, but this, this mod. Our foreign policy for the fatherland. If you're military. Japan seems kind of interesting, too. There's a lot of content for this mod. Like, it looks... This has a lot of potential, and I hope it plays mod more as more and more time goes on, so... But after we kill some traitors, what are we going to do next? Get some pee-pee? Ban extremism. Yeah, well, you can do some more stability. 55% is already pretty good, actually, but... Still. Um, militant democracy. Yeah, we might as well do that one. What do we not have enough? Infantry equipment, okay. We cannot tolerate those who are, of course, intolerant. We can't give freedom to those who want to take it from us. We can't allow enemies of democracy to use it against us. Actually, look how divided we are. Social conservatism. Oh, hello. Marco Polo. Oh, happy 37, everybody. Well, there goes those guys. Good luck. We have a million manpower. Not bad. We need more support equipment, though. Hmm. Here, do that. Do that real quick. So after banning extremism, yeah, militant democracy would be very good. How's the Raj doing? Do they have any focus trees as well? That'd be cool if they did. Eh, yeah, sort of do, yeah. For the fatherland? Eh. Okay, maybe not. Maybe this for the fatherland stuff? This is maybe Jimmy E. Generic tree, maybe? I'm not really sure. If you are military. Hami? Who's who's any Oh, you have oh. Ma Zong Ying. Land reform, huh? Cool. Austria should be going bye bye within a couple months here, right? Milkas? Milky Boys? Didn't think I'd be saying Milky Boys today, but hey, here we are. Leopold the Third, how are, how are you, uh, the Congo hands doing? Yeah, okay, so this is just a generic type of focus. You're okay. I don't know that. Well, there's a lot of Democratic Social Support, Labor Party support there, huh? Cause of Peace. Come on, come play as UKs too. Awesome. What else do we have here? Anything else? Keep making stuff, keep making stuff. Anti air is not bad. I'd rather have a small but really powerful military than a large, really ineffective military. Oh, what happened to Ethiopia? Oh, why is it Raj down here? What did you. Did you hop over the ocean and get rid of those guys? So by doing this, militant democracy, we get civil war scatters. So we'll get plus point one more political power, more stability, more support, which would be nice. So, but after that, I guess we're gonna just beeline through this stuff so we get more daily political power gain. It's all right. Curtail government authority, normalize politics, um, restore the parliament if we have to. Dissolution of the Cortes. Four years have passed since the great last general election. And following Article Fifty Three of the Constitution, President Miguel Mares dissolved the Cortes and called for a new election. Don't receive the legislative power until the new Cortes are constituted. The permanent deputation has been assembled with deputies from the biggest political parties that will act as a parliament until one is formed, which according to the Constitution will be around 30 days after the elections. Alright, we'll see what happens. Are we still mobilizing? Not bad, we need more population. 26 million is just not enough, man. It is straight up not enough. It's not, that one's pretty good. Uh, that one's pretty good too. Um, Campas? Cam Campsa? Ooh, the heck is everyone here? Nice. A lot of stuff here. I like this. Organization. Entrenchment speed's okay. Max entrenchment. Jesus Christ, that sounds really painful to try to dig through. 36? Oh, wow. So we'll go as far as we can in this campaign with the focus tree that we currently have, so... We'll do the best we can, if not... Oh, I don't know. I'm not sure how... Were we supposed to wait longer for the Civil War to do stuff? Because why do we start on the Spanish... Well, I guess it would make sense we started off the Spanish Republic in the Civil War, but still. Kind of Luxembourg would have his own unique book tree, huh? Charlotte? Huh, Charlotte? No? Alright. Cool. Uh, South Africa? How about you? What a mess. South Africa? South African economy? Vargas closed the National Assembly, alright. Delay doctrine? Why not? Alaska Defense? Militant Democracy? And I guess restore Parliament if we have to. I'm not saying we want to, but I guess if we have to.
I guess if we have to. Cool. And get some motorized too, eventually. Alright. Followed up with destroying Parliament. I guess we're going to normalize politics. We do need to go to rationing eventually. Oh my gosh, political power is so bad. But I guess we're going to have to normalize politics. <coughs> Which is slightly faster than the other 70 day focuses. It's time for political parties to start running for regional elections, holding public debates, discussing laws in the Parliament, become a normal democracy once again. So democratic socialism goes up, huh? Which is no support right now, which is fine with us, but still. Alright, Italy, what's your focus tree like? You like some battleships, huh? Nice. Pressure General Gazetta. Awesome. From Army Doctrine, integrate fascist militias, reform army logistics, by Storci remains. Remove by Storci, support National Spain. Three year army plan. Remove Marshal Bagdo Badoglio. Further tank efforts, reform training stuff. Amend the officers' reforms. Reorganize the sim. Cool. Oh, I haven't played Italy too much. I played them sometimes in some other mods, but tour of the West. Four powers pact. Franco-Italian agreement. Form the stress affront. Approach Turkey. All right. Well, we're about to reform Parliament, which is, in my opinion, not a great thing. But whatever. <sighs> the post-war economy is just so god awful. Normalize lay politics. So now it's back. Nothing's being debated at the moment. Ruling coalition seats, 304. Um, stop land redistribution. More social conservatism. Public works, Mercia. And support weapons. Grenades. Sure, why not? We love grenades. But happy 1938, everybody. What else we got here? Public works, not bad. Work law contracts, okay. Lei de reforma sindical. Revise mixed juries law. Extend military service, and of course, just the normal stuff, dockyards and such, stuff like that. Cool. So we'll see what happens. Pol Polish Republic still. Um, France just wants to give up all the territory it currently owns, but whatever. So after normalized politics, I guess we got to curtail government authority. <clears throat> the government was given special powers during the war. Now with the reopening of the parliament, we can reduce government power in favor of the Congress. Oh, that sounds so sad. Argentina. I love your hat, dude. You a nice hat. Nothing really there. Uh, Chile. How's Chile doing? Brazil. Colombia. How's Mexico doing? Lozaro Cardenas. Democratic Socialist. Nationalize the oil. When it, oh, the real presidency, huh? <coughs> Reform le army. Professional army. A big army. Not bad. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. Alright. And next one, too. Curtail government authority. We've got to blitz through these as fast as possible. And then... Oh, they... Oh, the little Anton. Oh, boy. Nunsa mas. Never again. Never again shall Spain be divided. Never again shall our democracy be threatened. Never again shall brother fight against brother. Oh, just wait until the next 50 years. You'll find... Uh, the Spaniards will find a way to hate themselves and hate each other, I guess. So, okay. Oh, little Entente. That's interesting. They're with the Allies. So if Germany can beat these guys up, which is going to be probably pretty difficult for them, which they probably won't be able to do... That makes Germany ridiculously eat strong, and the Allies will have a much more difficult time. Yeah, that is interesting. Welfare state, Imagino Line, Grand Quartier General, Economic Downturn, of course, Agriculture Crisis. Nice. And get some better guns, even though we're already out a whole bunch, but whatever. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Because this one gives us more political power every single day. It's not much, but 0.15 is better than nothing. So, yeah. I'm not going to do anything here. I don't want to screw it up anymore like I did before. Because apparently, because some of the comments saying, like, they, you, you are frustrated. You guys, some of you guys were frustrated uh, that I was just not doing things correctly. So, my bad. Not aggression back with the Italians, huh? Nice. What is Herr Hitler up to? Is he having a good day? Not a lot of manpower. He's got quite a few divisions, though. Doesn't mean they're any good, though. Ah, uh, there we go. Nice. Alright, so after that one, what are we going to do? Probably restore the economy. Our place in the world. Civil War avoided. Economy is recovered. The war against fascism. Contain Italy. Liberate Portugal. Befriend Portugal. Probably going to have to liberate them? A petition from Spain. Integralist uprising crush in Brazil. Warring. Espanol American oil. Um, break with Italy. We go to we go to war with them. Befriend Germany. This focus is not available in this version of Calm Before the Storm. Well, I guess we got to go rationing. 
That's another god-awful 70-day focus, which is, oh my goodness. But we still get political power out of it, which is not too bad. We cannot let people accumulate food while others starve. We shall implement rationing through the country with a presidential decree. Because who cares about Congress? Or whatever you call it here. But anti-air is looking pretty good, though. I like that. Can you throw in some anti-air? Defender cities. There you go. Good luck. Looking not too bad. And did you guys actually finish? You're not done. How are you not done yet, guys? Come on, man. Come on. Keep going. Keep going. Cool. Yeah, never again. But I have a 38, everybody. Like, we're moving pretty quickly through this, which is kind of nice, even though I wish it was more for us to do. I mean, I don't remember when the Civil War ended in Spain historically, but, like, we might just end up joining the Allies, which is not necessarily a bad thing or the little Entente, but we'll see what happens. Oh, there's 37 over here, too. Oh, yeah. We dispersed Industry 2 already? Holy crap. Mobile defense followed with integrated support. Might as well, right? Get more soft tech, get more organization. Ah, thank you very much. And now we might be making some political power, but let's go and do rationing. No, we're still losing. God dang political power. My goodness. Another 70 fo day focus. My apologies, guys. I hate these focuses too. A support organization. Does not have national spirit, so we gotta get through everything else first. And then we'll reveal our military. Actually, isn't anybody here for a research slot? Um, not seeing it yet. No. No. And there's a lot of research bonuses. I like the post-war economy thing, but already have that effect. French advisors. France doesn't support us yet. Air doctrine. Well, that's not too bad. Air experience gain. Air accidents chance. Modern air force. This is hurting me, man. Experience light armor division will appear in Madrid. Uh, okay, there it is. Yeah, at the end of the tree here, we get one. It's not bad, but... Why does it take so long? But during this time, we're going to have to rebuild our country. It's time to begin working on rebuilding this country, both physically and, of course, socially. About two weeks left was not too bad, and we're already halfway through 38. Oh, I hope the Czechoslovak Republic gives it up. I want to see a stronger Germany for now. I would like to have a little bit of a struggle. Oh. Oh, okay. They literally just gave it up then. Okay. Um, a stronger Germany tussle between Poland, Czechoslovakia, uh, France, and even Yugoslavia. It's in my estimation that Czechoslovakia will probably be eaten up. And then they'll still have the little Entente here in Poland, Yugoslavia, and France. I'm going to assume that uh, Yugoslavia falls first, maybe, then Poland, maybe, then these guys. We'll see what happens, of course. That's still not terrible. Rebuild the administration. Why does this have no effect? I like this. I'll get more political power about rebuild the administration or rebuild the net rail network. Let's do the administration first. We gotta end military administration in rebel areas and fully restore pre-war bureaucracy. Sounds gonna blow it, man. Um, hey, we're going artillery now. That's actually pretty nice. Yeah, keep making more divisions, guys. Keep making more divisions. Tibet, why is oh Japan is still fighting them? Okay, that's fine. The Shangxi clique. What is this? Yulin Garrison. Where are the commies? Jing, Zhu Wei. Yeah, tw 29th? Oh my gosh, 29th army? Every time I click somewhere else, there's a new army leader in China. Bruh. And there's Tibet, they're just kind of hanging out. Leninist Bogu. Not like Bo Cohen, but Bogu. <coughs> Excuse me. Chen Jitang. Indo Chinese Union? Oh yeah, there's that. You have a generic focus, you probably. Yeah, kind of like a colonial stay here. Oh, oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, maybe not. End of the new era? Central Bank? Kind of cool. Rebuilding our country to get some bureaucracy. Cool. Four days left, three days. We get some more construction speed. Quite a few more consumer goods to use, which would be great. Nice. So now, 15 and 2, not bad, not bad. I like do, I do like getting better, bigger roads. Yeah, yeah, getting those mountains taken care of. Yeah, I don't know, man. If the German AI was smart, they just hold here. And like, what I would do, hold the line there, hold the line here. 
focus on Czechoslovakia first and snip these two tiles first. One, two, one, two, or one, two. Um, snip, destroy everything else this way if we possibly can. Or just send, just defend everywhere else and just send tanks down here and just take out Moderbor and Sylvania and stuff like that first. But that's just me. I'm not the AI. Sometimes I'm smarter than the AI. Some of the time I'm not. <laughs> so. It is what it is. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of disappointed with this tree a little bit just because, like, we went with the CEDA because you guys chose that. But then we're forced to go back to most of the Republic. We, we can't go, like, hard right or anything like that. So. My goodness. How long does it take you to get more experience? Holy crap. Of course, no, oh, I see why it's because of fuel. My bad. He has my fault. I should have bought more fuel, but whatever. Rebuild the na rail network. We need to rebuild a railway network if we want to fully recover from the economic downturn. Oh, we actually have effects from this? Oh, so this one gives us more political power. Oh, I'm glad I did that one first. Here. Spain needs to become a, nu uh, nu a nuclear power. God, we're still losing political power. Jesus, every day. Every day. Awesome. Hey, this artillery is looking good, right? Hey, but happy 1939, everybody. Hope you're having a great year. We'll be okay this year. The world will totally remain calm and nothing bad will happen. Absolutely not. What is Germany up to actually in January? We don't know. Did you run out of focuses to do? So, if Germany goes to war with these guys, then they have to go to war with the UK as well. Huh. Interesting. Oh my gosh, guys, we're finally... It only took us until 1939 as Spain to make political power. To actually get political power. Spain is nothing but pain, man. Spain, why did I agree to do this? Now to this, we'll get even more political power. Production efficiency cap and way more factory output. Now that our transport network is rebuilt, we have to restore the industrial production levels we attained in 35. And even expand our industry further. They're acting like the Civil War is really that bad. I mean, it was bad, don't get me wrong, to have Civil War, but like... Didn't last for that long compared to some other civil wars, man. New construction methods? Oh, please just gobble them up. It's already marched. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Oh, you're really market liberals there, huh? You're pretty fascist in Italy there, man. Uh, UK? Establish defenses of Malta? Uh, guaranteed Polish independence. Well, good luck with that. Defense spending. Oh, boy. America's strengthening, of course, is strengthening the president. FDR, having a good old time. John Buchan. New rifles. Colonization, Immigration Council, French Republic just doing planes, okay. Raj is doing some stuff, China is doing some stuff, and Japan is just literally doing nothing. Mongolian People's Republic. Cool, and expand Leningrad Aluminum. Sounds like a good idea. Alright, so what happened here? Was it 30 in April that this Czechoslovakia went bye-bye? Didn't um, Poland actually get Zaoli or something like that? Zaolzi? Yeah, I think they did. We could be wrong about that. But out of this, rebuild industrial network. Yeah. So we got about a week left. That's not bad. And we got so long for this other stuff, too, to happen. Oh, my goodness. Come on. Oh! And there, the annexation of Czechoslovakia. I can resist. Oh, yummy, yummy. Oh, look at that. That's well, the protector of Bohemia and Moravia. Emil Hatcha. Oh, look at that. Oh, I like this one. Colonization and simulation. I like this focus tree. Replace mayors with collaborators. Mimelan. Alright. Germany seems unstoppable. We'll see what happens. German science. Citizenship for assimilators. Nice. Encourage membership in the party. Expand welfare for assimilators. I like that too. But, since we did that stuff, and we've got some dispersed industry, uh, go with more construction speed. 10% is pretty nice. Um, Spain is rebuilt. Yeah, we gotta get through that one quickly. Finally, after all this time of hard work and sacrifices, Spain is fully rebuilt. Now we can look to foreign adventures and continue improving our economy. That still sucks so much. Minus 40%. Jesus Christ. Uh, what is Slovakia up to? Joseph Tizo. Oh, that little generic focus tree. At least Hungary feeling a little better with uh, Del Slovakia. Probably northern Slovakia. Maybe your military. This is kind of a, it's a focus tree, definitely. Keep building. I don't mind building more infrastructure right now. Like that gives them more resources, stuff to trade away, build stuff up, especially more tungsten. That's not bad. We could definitely use more fuel though. All right. So after thirty nine, then it, it's just an attack on the Polish Republic, right? Yeah, can Germany actually hold on to these guys? Because they they'll have to fight the Allies and the Little Entente, which is not necessarily a bad thing. So if Germany can hold 
and they can capitulate a little on top. That makes them very strong. So they won't be a continu continually war. Scars of the Great War. Yeah, you should feel bad about that. Uh, nice. There we go. Spain is rebuilt. That's getting out of our political power deficit. My bad. Foreign investors. You know what? At this point, I think we just need a race towards getting that extra research slot. But having four is just so necessary. The war against fascism. As much as I want to do this stuff too over here. Uh, the Republic needs you. Move industry to the colonies. Is that a good... I don't think that's a good idea. Those colonies get taken out, man. Form la nueva. Guerra de independencia. The Republicans will rebel in Madrid. Uh, what the heck? Oh, okay. This is if we lose. If we could... Why? Um... I like the civvy. I like the iron. I like two civvies, though. But we do, do we need that iron steel? I mean, steel. Uh, get the civvies. Yeah. More political power would be really good. Foreign investors. Many foreign investors have dedicated or decided to open factories in a country. Creating, of course, thousands of jobs. We should invite even more investors to our country. Sounds great. Sounds peachy. Sounds awesome. But hey, at least they got Slovakia as an ally. And they like to protect the Bohemia and Moravia as an ally. We have a little Entente, not as an ally, but we'll see what happens. Now, what is Italy going to do? I like them during the Axis to do their own thing. They're doing air stuff just like France, Jesus. France is the Italy. France is... France and the ally is the same thing as Italy to the oh, Axis, just... Predict Bar der Valley. My goodness. Buy for Alexis. Member of the King Alexander. Uh, a lot of these national spirits don't seem very good for us. Or at least good for Yugoslavia. Divided nation, of course. Croatian nationalism. Spain is rebuilt. Nice. Let's keep building, 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 building. How many more millies, too? Well, it's September 1st. Germany's not at war yet again, so. Oh, review the mining grants? It's not bad. Foreign investors, though. Tungsten. That's not bad, but. And eh, we need both. So, ah, there goes Polish Republic. Invest in AHV. AHV is a great asset for steel production. We can invest in it. Creating jobs in the Basque Country and increasing the steel output. Alright, so they're attacking on all angles and they're already put. They are quickly pushing in. And, okay, Italy's in the Axis now, too. And Danzig is ours. Theirs. Not ours. I wish it was ours, but it's theirs. Got me. Integrated support followed up with regimental combat teams. Now, Italy's pushing it. Uh, well, they're kind of pushing back against each other. Yep, someone's going to get encircled and completely destroyed, and then, oh boy. Yeah, sometimes it's kind of cool just to watch what the AI does in terms of offensive warfare. Krakow, I wonder how bad it is right now. How many divisions we got? 17, god dang it. War propaganda would not be bad. We could, we could join. Oh, we could join the French right now. We could fight the fascists. Or just join the allies. Because are the allies fighting them too? Yes, they are. Hmm. Well, we could. You should let me know in the comments. Should we join the Allies or join France? Let me know. Do you think we'll be able to hold out? Oh, my goodness. Uh, I don't know. Hungary joined the Axis, which makes sense, but still. Hmm. I don't think we're really ready to yet to join them. Let me know in the comments below whether we should or not. Yeah, that seems kind of scary. Man, this takes forever to get some research done. Holy crap. They're doing pretty well down here. And they're, they're pushing into France. Oh, Germany, are you attacking? Oh, man. Grenoble, how is... North Africa's not too bad. Tsardom, a uh, Bulgaria join. Yeah, you're going to get murdered there, Yugoslavia. Even though, even though you're killing off Albania pretty well. Oh, look at that. Oh, there goes Poland. Why do you own Volin? Uh, bros. Um, yeah. I don't know. France, hmm. Maybe we should have stuck with the hard right. Huh, I don't know. 39 in the... The Axis seems like they're doing pretty darn well, which makes sense, but still. Aren't you in the Little Entente too? Uh, Romania? Maybe not. Oh, they're not. That is... Skupshi? Sad. Yeah, Italy is still pushing through, man. And there it goes. Yugoslavia. What is a war like? Is German... It's not bad. They... That's not bad. Casualty ratio 2 to 1, almost. Not quite, but close. French Republic... Yugoslavia is gone. The Allies are just kind of hanging out for now. They're just kind of like, wee. Italy's lost seventy-five thousand. How about to France? France has lost mostly to Italy. Yeah, it's actually it's perfectly almost in between. Huh? <coughs> Italy is just pushing hard as all heck. Holy crap! 
You know what? We might just go neutral for this campaign. I don't know at this point. Enrichment of the Spaniards. One of the most important priorities should be the creation of a big middle class with purchasing power to strengthen the internal market. And that rejects radicalism in defense of the Republic. Whatever makes you sleep better at night. That's all I'm going to say. Whatever makes you sleep better. Because this is... Well, actually, now that they're done over here, they're going to be really pushing through here a lot. And, of course, Germany's probably going to go through the Low Countries as well. Revamp conscription. Are you out of manpower? No, they're not. Oh, but they're going to be... They're probably going to be out of manpower soon. So, they're not, they're not pushing at all. The, the Italians are just, like, just throwing men at the French. And the UK a little bit. And the Yugoslavia, but mostly just the French. You know, one for one. The Italians are doing great. They really are. Then again, I mean, they are pushing pretty darn... They have been pushing pretty darn well. Avignon? Not bad. Just gotta wait for Germany to do its stuff up there in the north, but... Currently, we get point seven seven political power. Not bad. And keep building up for civvies. Like, we're not done anywhere yet. Go two at a time now. Two at a time. Uh, there you go. Do that. Even more civvies. We just gotta rebuild the economy. It sucks right now. Never again. It's pretty good, but... Yeah. Oh, North Africa is looking not too bad. Of course, Ethiopia has fallen by now. How's China doing? They are getting swarmed. Um, it's definitely a mixed bag. But I'm giving the edge to the Axis because they're still technically winning right now. So, it's almost 1940. So, 340 days. It's just so long. Get more cap. Italy's just... They got to the river. Let's see how, if they can hold it. There, this one we'll probably do this one, and probably also do universities expansion. It's time to expand some universities, science and engineering facilities and labs, and to authorize the creation of many new universities to give everyone a chance to study university and economical mobilization, or you mean economic mobilization. War is upon us, maybe. It's time to mobilize all the industry we have built for it because war we're because are one on the battlefield, but also the factories. Oh, is China having a civil war? Oh my gosh, that's not good for them. But I think we'll end it here for today. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Uh, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. Leave a like for Wang Dong. And I'll see you tomorrow and see what else we can do as a country that has pain but starts with S. Thanks for watching. Have a great, great rest of your day.